Hey, what's going on guys? And uh, welcome to the weekend. Hopefully everyone that's watching this video is going to hop off that weekend train and uh, relax this weekend. But if you do have to work, um, I appreciate your service and appreciate you keeping the economy going. Uh, for the today's shave, we're going to be using tobacco. This was voted on um, by these guys here. Controversial scent from tobacco, um, where I kind of understand it, but the performance of tobacco is pff, awesome. So I have it blooming here in my little, and if you watch any of my tobacco videos, you'll see. Uh, I use this little bowl for my tobacco. I have water drizzled on it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of that water and just kind of use it on my face. It's kind of like a pre shave. So, how's everyone been doing? I hope uh, you had a great week and hope you kick off the weekend right. Regardless of what that may be for me, it's going to be getting as much sleep as I can. <clears throat> I've been feeling a little, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say under the weather, but definitely not the best. I don't have a fever or anything like that, but um, just been feeling a little weak. And uh, anyways, yeah. But I think the majority of it has to just do with lack of sleep. <clears throat> but yeah, how are you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing exceptionally well. Um, <clears throat> we're supposed to be getting quite a bit of rain this weekend so um, hopefully tomorrow I can get outside and mow the lawn. Oh, we'll be using our uh, Maggard um, 26 millimeter high density knot here. Super high density knot and this is the actual puck that's been there's a little hair right there. Like that. So yeah for those of you guys that don't know uh, at the beginning of every video <clears throat> or towards the beginning um, I have a couple of soaps that I show you, and then I, I ask you guys to basically vote on what you want to see me shave with for the following shave. Um, I'm not doing that today uh, because I have a soap that uh, I've been smelling like, <clears throat> I've been smelling this specific soap all week, and I'm like, man, I really want to try that soap again. But like, I have very limited experience with it. Um, it's my summer break soap and I haven't used it but like two or three times and I've been smelling it all day and it's that leather and uh, like sawdust woody smell and man it smells great so I'm like you know what I'm gonna use that next shave after tobacco so there, for that shave I will have three more soaps for you guys to choose from all right I think we're good that's the load Gonna take what we have in here, although a little foamy, it's really not anywhere near as bad as some of the other soaps. Yeah, tobacco definitely is a great performer. Now, again, I understand scent is subjective <clears throat> as to where performance is objective. Did I say that right? Performance is objective because you can, and scent is subjective. I don't know if I said subjective when I spoke about the scent. Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> I'm just rinsing off the puck here. All right. For the soap, or I'm sorry, for the uh, razor, I'm losing my mind. For the razor, we'll be using the Dark Stag razor. Sitting by Linguafile. I said when I used it last that I wanted to use a blade that I'm familiar with. And, um, so I've heard some, when I use this blade, sometimes I get messages saying like, you know, why are you using that blade? That blade's, I don't have good luck with that blade or whatever. But, for me, Astra's are 
very good. Like, I don't have any issue with my Astros. So that's what I'll be using. And I have probably the most DE shades with an Astra. Um, Astras and Gillette Blues. Gillette Platinum Blues, Stainless Blues, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, this stuff just... You know, I don't have any fine accoutrement. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's fine accoutrement soaps. But... I know it's said, at least on forums and, and through guys that apparently have more experience than I, that fine accoutrements have the same exact base as Tabak or Tabak or however you want to pronounce it. It's the same exact base. Now, I don't have any fine accoutrement soaps. I can't confirm nor deny that, but <clears throat> if it is the same base, those must be great performers as well. And then I know fine does amazing sense. All right, there we go. Yeah, this soap builds a lather effortlessly. It can take water. There's no need to constantly worry about how much water you're adding. Um, yeah, it's just a great base. I think it doesn't get a lot, it's a classic as well. Uh, I think it doesn't get a lot of love because it is a sin that is controversial or looked down upon on some to be too floral, uh, too floral-esque, um, kind of like a, your grandmother's, <laughs> I've heard like your grandmother's purse, like what your grandmother's purse would smell like. So, and I can understand that. So again, we're using the Dark Stag razor. It's actually a cool looking razor. You know, it does have its flaws. For instance, the base plate has a couple of chips. Again, I mean, I don't know how much this is, but you know, it is it is what it is, but you could also see where they stamp that. I'll take this off real quick. Where they stamp the top plate. Yeah, you see right here. It's like they, it, the, the stamp that actually hit it like misaligned. And so you have this ridge all around this edge here. Again, it does not affect performance whatsoever. So, but it's just something I'm pointing out. And again, we're going with the Astra Green. Let's load this up. Astra Green. Um, Voshkod. Persona. And the Gillette. GS Gillette Silver Blue GSBs, those are the only razor, uh, the blades that I have purchased actual uh, boxes of, like a box of 100. Um, all of my other blades that you see are have either come with a razor or like the Wilkinson's, uh, um, not the Wilkinson sword, the um, My Vanderhagen came with 10 Vanderhagen blades. I didn't buy those specifically. But yeah, I bought two, when I first started with shaving, I bought two variety packs of DE blades. So that's where a lot of the variety on this channel comes from, from those variety packs. All right, let's see. I was having a conversation with Jason, um, and I won't say his last name, but he emailed me and we were talking about um, my 3D bowl and that type of stuff, and then we kind of started on um, brushes. He was basically telling me he's looking forward to getting a, a good quality brush. And just like Paul has heard from me and a couple other guys, <clears throat> um, you know, quality does not always mean extremely expensive. Um, and I think J Jason sounded intelligent. I know he's not going to, you know, I, I know he understood what I was saying. Um,
as did Paul, by the way. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is, I think he understood my, my points on just because you're buying a $200 brush does not mean it's gonna be any better than, a, than, than this brush right here, this $70 Magra brush. Super high density, Manchurian knot. You know, it has the, the, the um, gel-like tips. You know, you're not gonna get much better than what I have right here. What I think the majority of people do though, is, you know, let, let, like let's say you go out <clears throat> and you buy one of these $3,000, $4,000, or $4,000 custom straight razors, right? And yeah, you may have some cool scales on it, you know, maybe some horn or maybe some, you know, tortoise shell or whatever. And obviously that's going to bump the price up. But are you going to get a better shave than I will with any of my blades? No, you're not. You're absolutely not. Um, and my blades, all of them actually, are well under $100. <laughs> well under $50. So, you know, does the cost, does the performance justify the cost, right? And in my experience, most of the time it doesn't. Now, their second kind of cool, like, like I said, the, the, I'm gonna add a little water to this, we're a little pasty. There's a second kind of cool where, you know, the tortoise shell or horn or whatever, like, yeah, if you want that and that's something that, and, and then they go for it, man, absolutely. But just know that you're not gonna get a better shave because you spent an extra 3,500 bucks on a razor. What matters is the edge. That's what matters on a straight razor, the edge. And I think myself and a couple of other guys have proved that much by using gold dollars. You know, gold dollars, they're made in China. It's probably old AC units, bumpers of car. I mean, any, any metal that they can melt down and make it to and, and put into a mold, that's what they're using for those gold dollars. Like, let's be, let's be real about it. Um, so you have the, you have the steel disparity there, but at the end of the day, it's not the steel that's being used. It's not the scales on the handle that's making the razor shape great. It's the edge. And I think most people understand that. The problem is you have certain people, and I'm not speaking of anyone in particular, but you have certain people that will purchase high dollar items, right? And then they feel like they have to justify that high dollar item. Like, my stuff may be just as good as your stuff and my stuff's a quarter of the price. But since you spent four times more, you have to justify yours, so you have to act like yours is the best in the world. And I just don't agree with that, that logic. I don't think most people do agree with that logic. Most commonsensical people. But, you know, <clears throat> there's a difference of, well, I, do, I want it or I need it, right? <clears throat> and there's two different, there's two different arguments there. As far as the want and the need, but I 
Oh, this is something I want to ask you guys. For those of you that are still watching 15 minutes in. Um, <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Do you guys like Chick-fil-A? As far as the food, I'm not talking about anything else. The food. Do you, do you guys like Chick-fil-A's food? The only reason I'm asking is because... Every time we go to the doctor's office or the baby or my wife, there's Chick-fil-A everywhere in that area. And so we always stop and get Chick-fil-A. I just feel like the, the food is very consistent. It's very consistent. It doesn't matter which location I'm at. It's just always the same. And they're always super busy. And I think that that's a, that's a sign of not only success, but also just doing things the right way. So if that didn't answer, if I like Chick-fil-A, uh, yeah, I like Chick-fil-A. Now, my body could do without Chick-fil-A. I get the uh, spicy chicken sandwich. Spicy chicken sandwich and fries and a Coke. Um, and then when I go to Taco, uh, not Taco Bell, um, Popeyes. Popeyes also has the spicy chicken sandwich. They have home style too, just like, uh, just like Chick-fil-A does, but why are we talking about food? Oh, because I wanted to know if you guys, if you guys like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, uh, I really do like Chick-fil-A. For the longest time where I live, well, it's still not really close, but there wasn't a Chick-fil-A that was close. And again, it's still not really close, but, it, but it's much closer than it was previously. And I think in 2018, they actually, um, 2017 or 2018, they actually uh, opened up a Chick-fil-A close to me or closer. So as far as this razor goes, shaving just as good as anything else. Shaving just as well as a, any other DE I have in the in the den there. You know, a DE razor is basically okay. So let me let me explain myself. I'm gonna say it and then I'm gonna explain. A DE razor is basically the same as a straight razor in that. As long as they have the geometry correct on the base plate, the top cap, et cetera, et cetera, everything lines up nicely. It's basically the same in the straight razor as if you have the straight razor geometry, the spine, the edge, those correct, and then you just put a sharp blade, or, or obviously in this case, it's a sharp blade. In that case, it's a sharp edge. But And all I'm getting at when I say that is, you know, this dark stag razor, the eraser, they obviously got the geometry right. So as long as I'm putting a quality blade in here, for me, Astros are quality blades, I understand. Others may not like Astros. But for me, this Astro is working beautifully. And I can't complain. We're going over to my sister's tomorrow to see their newborn and to bring ours. She's 
She was an aunt and a mother in the same week, and I was a uncle and a father in the same week. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Not really the same week. It's eight days. It's exactly eight. Well, seven days and like twenty-two hours difference. But we could say a week, right? Wow, very, very nice shave. I'm gonna do a couple touch-ups down here. Which we have enough in here to do. I'm just gonna wring this out. Oh yeah, geez. <laughs> we have a bunch in here. Tabak's also very, for me, in my skin, it's very moisturizing. So, sometimes I'll just kind of like, when I'm not shooting a video, I'll just kind of, with the remaining, I'll put it on my face, just kind of let it sit while I'm rinsing off all of my gear. One thing that I have, I don't really do too many touch-ups like this on camera. Because one thing I, I do not do well with is like stopping myself before I start cutting myself. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get BBS on my neck here. And I keep going over it and over it and over it, which is a big no-no for multiple reasons. But this, this razor is not really biting, biting my skin. Yeah, so I'm excited about tomorrow I'm going and seeing my niece. And also, obviously, getting to show off my little boy. <laughs> I think we're good. I'm going to stop it there. I mean, we're pretty much BBS. I'm just feeling for like little stragglers. The problem is, again, I just continue to continue to continue and, and I ended up I end up cutting myself most of the time. Perfect. But look at this lather. Look, check this out. I could add water to this and add probably another two or three passes to this, this lather on my face. I mean, that's, you know, and I still have a lot on my hand. So, to back is awesome. You may not like the scent, but you cannot deny its performance. Oh, also, real quick. What do you got? Where do you guys put your DE blades when you're done with them? Um, I've seen some guys like break them in half and put them in water bottles and that type of thing. Basically, to dispose of them is what I'm what I'm getting at. When I first started shaving, I started using this. I bought this on Amazon. I think it was like three bucks, three ninety nine. This little feather container, and I probably have I don't know a hundred to two hundred. DE blades in there. Um, yeah, that's where, that's, that's where I keep mine. I'm gonna rinse off real quick. Whew. I don't think we had any nicks or anything. I could have been wrong and just not seen them, but I think that was a pretty excellent shave. Um, so again, thank you Lingual File for the, uh, the Dark Stag Razor here. And again, it was the tobacco. Puck. We're gonna finish off with a classic. Pinard Clubman. No, you don't have to shake it. <laughs> it's just a habit, honestly. For me, it's just a habit. Wow. Oh yeah. It's so it's like it's it's so cool and so primal to shave with a straight razor and get a nice smooth shave. But you're on a whole different level when you're shaving with a DE and you can literally not feel it. It's like, it's like my son's little legs or hands or feet or what. It's like just 
squeaking, squeaky clean. Mm. My wife despises the scent. She says I smell like an old man, but it's all right. Just because of that, we're going for a second shot. Nice alcohol content in that as well. Whew. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you for the next shave. Have a great weekend if I don't see you before the end of it. And uh, yep, bye guys.